All right, big update on the Microsoft outage that's really crippled several sectors. You have a, a message that's now been issued by the Civil Aviation Ministry in India. And the guidelines there underscores a manual backup system that's been implemented, assuring people that the issue will be resolved, at least in India, as soon as possible. Civil Aviation of the, the Civil Ministry of the Civil Aviation there in collaboration with AAI has implemented manual backup system to maintain operational continuity. The Civil Ministry and the AAI closely monitoring the situation, coordinating with Microsoft for swift resolution. This is an update coming in from the Civil Aviation Ministry that there is a backup system that they're currently working on and they're trying to swiftly resolve it. And that specifically includes a collaboration with AAI that's implemented a manual backup system to maintain operational continuity. Big development as a message coming in from the Civil Aviation Minister. Remember, whatever said, India has a huge influx of passengers into airports. And if we have to shift the entire digital check-in system into manual uh, gear, it's going to be a Herculean task. Uh, assurance, word of assurance coming in from the Civil Aviation Minister. Let's listen in. Airways के संबंधित चीज़ प्रपंच व्याख्यांगा Microsoft ताल का software ओकड़ी Azure अन्ना software cloud software दाखलो चिन्ना समस्या उच्चिन्दी दाने वाला प्रधान अंगा अमेरिका लो उन्नत पंडित flights के कुछ समस्या उच्चिन्दी ये निपुणे माताल का secretary तो गुड़ा मार्ट लड़े नो माना भारत देश उन लो आ समस्या इकड़ा इकड़ा गुड़ा इप्पन्दी लायकुंडा flight लंदी गुड़ा Disruptions in airports across India. Well, let's cut across to our reporters. We have all our reporters at different airports currently bringing us uh, updates on what the situation is, how crowded it is, the agonizing wait for the passengers. Suryagni Roy joining us live from Kolkata. We have Aishwarya Paliwal from Delhi Airport. Dave Kotak joining us from the Mumbai Airport. Suryagni, let me start with you. What's happening at the Kolkata Airport? Could, could you elaborate? Has there been any word of advice given to passengers? We know all airlines have asked their passengers to arrive at the airports early because it's going to be a manual system of check-in. Take us through what's behind you. Well, Nabela, you know, uh, the situation seems to have, uh, you know, smoothened up uh, ever since, you know, since we have been reporting over here. What we had seen uh, initially at around, let's say, 1.32, uh, the, in, uh, the system has somewhere, it has developed and it's, it's, it's falling into place. Uh, right now, uh, you know, this, this chart that we are showing you, the electronic one, many were, uh, you know, delayed. Uh, it's not that, you know, the ones that were delayed, uh, uh, it's been completely... Uh, uh, rectified or something, but yes, multiple of those delayed flights they are being uh, you know boarded or uh, it's it's being it's being uh, be, you know being uh, brought on track. So uh, the way we saw the things over here in the in the first hour when we came and there's a uh, there's, there's some sense of a transformation. One thing that uh, that is very important over here that you know these uh, Digi Yatra registration kiosks which are here they have been working and uh, uh, these were not really working in many of the airports in uh, different parts of the country we'll ask this person over here uh, chal abhi. Abhi ye chal raha hai lekin indigo ka invalid aa raha hai kuch kuch in, indigo ka invalid hmm. aa and the other airline has no problem with the other airline? No, 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 it's not a problem. Was it down for the whole day? It was down for the whole day. When did it restart? Some airlines are running like this, or India is running like this. Spice is also running like this, but the passengers are running like this, everyone is running like this. So we heard it from the horse's mouth, these were down for a while in the afternoon. Then again, uh, the Indigo ones are not, you know, it's still down as he's been saying, he's an airport authority person. Uh, these are Digi Yatra, uh, you know, kiosks. So one can, you know, take out a Digi slip and get, uh, you know, smoothly okay. enter. So, so Ragni, uh, I'm going to try and cut to Aishwarya, who's also at the at one of the busiest airports in the world. The Delhi Indira Gandhi International Airport, we know, is crowded at this point. Aishwarya, what's behind you? What kind of uh, direction have the airlines given to their passengers? Have people got a message?
tell you the chaos somewhat has subsided if we speak about the Delhi airport. The boards which actually were showing no information just a couple of hours ago are now functioning properly. But one thing that you will be able to notice is that most of the airlines, they are in the check-in mode at the moment. And that's because it's just one or two, uh, you know, airlines that you are seeing which have been cancelled. And, uh, you know, an airline flying from Delhi to Deppur has been, has been cancelled. Apart from that, there's just one flight to Jaipur which has been delayed. Otherwise, all of them mostly are working, uh, you know, run the clock and they are making sure that the passengers reach the spot on time. It's not just that, you know, let me also just show you quickly, Nabila, the queue. Uh, we could see serpentine queues just almost two hours ago, but now things have started moving smoothly. So we can say that the chaos somewhat has subsided and uh, the manual checking, uh, that's what, Nabila, you were also speaking about the fact that the aviation ministry is in touch with the AAI, that is the airport authorities of India. So now they are working towards shifting the gear and working towards manual things. The serpentine queues have now, uh, you know, drastically, uh, shush, uh, you know, the, the yeah. number of passengers in the queue, Nabila, have, have you know, reduced. I, one should, and uh, I should, I'm sure you'd agree with me, one should really laud the resilience of uh, India and the Indian airlines who bounce back so quickly, maybe much before the, uh, the ones abroad have, because uh, we are quite used to working with the manual system. And we know that our ground staff have been working relentlessly and round the clock to ensure a seamless affair. Though it's not going to be seamless for sure, because this is something that was never anticipated. A huge crowd, certainly, but we're looking at 5.10 p.m. precisely. We're give, bringing you live coverage at 5.10 p.m. Airports across India that was slightly chaotic about an hour ago have fine, I do finally see some kind of normalcy. So we're quite happy there. Ashwari, I'm going to come back to you. Cutting to Dave Kota, joining us live from Mumbai. Dave, what's the scenes in Mumbai at Mumbai Airport? Have people started trickling in much earlier to their flight? Well, yes, uh, customers have started going in gradually, but a lot of customers from the outer lounge uh, to the serpentine queue the, to the exit area when they're trying to come out, a few flights have been cancelled. Uh, some people were trying to go to Indore and Bhopal, but they are very angry and they have lambasted Indigo saying that the airline's ma management system is absolutely pathetic. You can see in terms of this is anything but smooth. Of course, uh, operations have resumed, but it's definitely beyond smooth. Uh, the serpentine queues only uh, continue to grow longer, more and more people keep getting added and as the day uh, progresses more towards the evening, a lot of pe people who were here on a business visit are also returning back and they're delayed. In fact, a group uh, just five minutes ago who came out uh, from the airport's inside lounge, they say, they said that they waited inside for three hours and then they took another one hour to get back outside into the exit area. They said that they are not communicating anything at this point in time. No details are being given. In fact, even the basic courtesy to inform that, that their flight was cancelled was not given to them. As of now, no fresh information is available in terms of those whose flights have been delayed or rescheduled or cancelled as a matter of fact as to when the fresh schedule will come out. But you can see once again behind me uh, that the CISF is also taking a lot of time. But uh, things are uh, slumping back to normalcy. But of course, it will take a few hours until the system has been entirely restored. We also saw images of people being issued handwritten boarding passes. Uh, this comprises of the working class corporate crowd, a lot of senior citizens, a lot of uh, children also uh, going. We saw through our visuals. Uh, of course, every, everybody is very inconvenienced because of this kind of a global outage and the software glitch that has disrupted services not just in Mumbai, uh, Bangalore and different parts of India but also across the world. And you see that, uh, in fact, in America, uh, a major right. part of operations have not yet even resumed well, as well, a matter of fact. Well, not comparing ourselves to America, line, uh, Indian uh, airlines uh, have issued a warning, and they've done it right in time, asking for people to come to the airport much in advance to their scheduled flight, because now check-in will happen manually. Di their online digital check-ins have been closed because of this technical glitch with the Microsoft system. But what really is the problem? Aishwarya, uh, Dev, Suryagni, please do stay with us. We're going to keep coming back to you. But let's break it down exactly what this means for the people world over. Millions and their lives have been thrown out of gear. As we see, the Microsoft system has become faulty. It appears that the issue is linked to cybersecurity failure with their Cloud Strike Falcon. 
And that's had a domino effect impacting major airlines, financial institutions and even emergency services. From delayed flights and manual check-ins at the airports to stalled financial transactions and news broadcasts coming to a standstill. This out outage here has really underscored vulnerabilities in the global digital infrastructure. Let's take a look at what exactly has transpired. A massive Microsoft outage unleashed havoc on computer systems across the world, leaving millions of users worldwide unable to access critical applications. The outage is possibly due to the failure of CrowdStrike Falcon, a cybersecurity platform that provides security solutions for Microsoft Windows. This is an issue with Microsoft's uh, uh, you know, partner firm, cybersecurity firm, which is CrowdStrike. A CrowdStrike update, which was meant essentially, if we're getting a little technical, uh, a Falcon sensor, which was meant to actually detect and prevent your systems from malware or this sort of an attack has actually crashed in terms of compromising what's happening with the larger network. So though this is not a cyber attack, it is genuinely a technical issue that CrowdStrike, when I reached out to them, are working on. They've taken cognizance that this issue stems from their Falcon sensor. They're trying to fix it. And Microsoft is also working with them. Also trying to figure out these are major corporations, banks, media networks, airlines. Everyone has come to uh, a standstill and a grinding halt. So the, the way that you essentially would do this is to divert traffic or to figure out if there are any fail-safe mechanisms in place. The outage impacted major airlines like American Airlines, Delta, SpiceJet, Indigo, Vistara, Air India, among others. Several flights were delayed in India, with Delhi, Bengaluru, Kolkata, Pune and Mumbai airports facing the maximum brunt. The outage hit booking and check-in services of several airlines in India, forcing them to follow manual check-in and boarding processes at the airports. Airlines also requested passengers to reach the airport early. It was all chose. They don't have any answers. A single person is taking more than, I think, 30 to 40 minutes. How can they cover up with it? And I was one of them who was just in front of the queue when the server goes down. Our flight was a bit delayed. The server was down. It was a lot of time. 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 No one expected this. We were all dependent on uh, these systems, which is Amidius, Galileo, all these systems which are dependent on Microsoft and uh, other internet booking engines. Now, uh, but before all these systems came, we used to have a very good manual system. I think uh, passenger manifest uh, is prepared and based on the passenger manifest airlines can issue boarding cards manually. Uh, it will take a little more time and uh, flights can go on. There might be certain delays. The worldwide IT outage crippled banks, stock exchanges, payment systems and emergency services. Several media organizations were clueless when they were unable to broadcast news. Britain's Sky News, news agency Associated Press, Australia's ABC News faced systems failure. Meanwhile, Union IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav in a statement said the government is in touch with Microsoft and its associates. The minister said the reason for this outage had been identified and updates have been released to resolve the issue. The government has clarified that the National Informatics Centre network is not affected by the outage. We have to look at uh, more investigations. Different countries are now huddling together to find out what should be the approaches. Countries have taken cognizance. The government of India has taken cognizance. So they see almost in the entire corporate India where systems are not able to work together, the operations of corporate India are getting impacted. So it could have an impact upon the nation, upon the national economy and upon the confidence and the morale of the digital stakeholders. While IT engineers across the world rallied to minimize damage, cybersecurity experts warn that such outages can have far-reaching effects, especially if they last for an extended period. Bureau Report, India Today. 
Right, we see that the problem is across the globe. In London, we're looking at rail and flight services that have been hampered. And let's not even begin with the London Stock Exchange. Trading has taken a big hit. We do have India Today's Lavlina joining us live from London. Lavlina, please take it away. What's really been uh, the detrimental effect of this Microsoft outage? We know that uh, normalcy has been hit largely within the rail sector and the airlines. Is the airport functioning as normal? What, uh, what are the steps the government right now mulling to take? Nabila, I'm at the airport in Terminal 3. There were long queues. They are getting better now. So they're not all flights that are impacted. There are certain airlines and certain flights, a selective impact of uh, Microsoft outage. These flights, like the American Airlines flight, some flights on British Airways to Denmark, they have been... Uh, they have been uh, take into another route. So there are certain that are cancelled, there are some that are delayed, and there are some that are still hanging about figuring out what should be done with them. So a, a different kind of impact, and London airports would have different impact. In fact, different terminals have different impact. Gatwick Airport, for example, in London has been impacted hugely. There are queues that are going uh, extending to three to uh, four hours uh, there, in fact. Uh, here, uh, I'm told by some of the people who are working that situation is getting in control and I can see the crowds on the airport are also reducing. The lines have shortened and some of them have moved or if they have cancelled, they have gone away. Of course, those who have can have their flight cancelled, they have not been uh, given any airport or travel arrangements because the uh, our staff is overwhelmed and their systems are not working. But this is airlines. Uh, trains also, there have been some train trailings that have been impacted, not all. Some ATMs, they are saying that would they be impacted, that people are turning up on ATM for money, but not so much. Indeed, something that has taken a lot of impact are the pharmacies or yeah. the GP surgeries. Now, pharmacies I spoke to, they told me that they're not able to download prescription. They use a certain kind of software on Microsoft. And they're not, because the entire system has gone uh, up and they have received an email from Microsoft saying that their system has been, uh, their, their system is not working. So the, they have not been able to download prescription. So what happens is when we go to a GP surgery, which is a doctor, which is a center, first point of contact, they give us a prescription, which is digital. Now everything is digital. They send it on the phone and, the, and we saw a code. Now, when we go and show a code to the pharmacy, they will not be able to download that. Right. So they can't access any of their system. So that is a huge problem for people who have to receive medicines or who yeah. have an appointment to do. While internal systems of the hospitals, one of the doctors told me, has not been impacted so much. So it's very selective. And yeah. therefore, that's where the cures uh, and everything emerges from. But um, proud try. Interestingly, uh, the, this, uh, just this little glitch that though. they were doing, uh, where the bug... Uh, yeah, Nabila, that, that little bug is really... They have deployed a fix. CrowdStrike have deployed a fix. And therefore, this, it is the, the uh, improvement should be percolating and is percolating as we speak. Okay, Nabila. you're saying that there is a fix. It's basically uh, they've attempted to try and fix the problem with a, through a fix. If I could take this question to uh, Cyrus John. Maybe Cyrus, you want to jump in on this? What exactly does a fix mean? We, we hear uh, Lavlina saying that their Microsoft has said that they've deployed a fix. What exactly do they mean? Is this an actual solution that we're looking for or a permanent solution is yet to come? So uh, this is this could be temporary. I mean, I'm trying to understand what the fix is. So basically, whenever Windows, your basic systems, run into some kind of error or there are complications, these fixes are released by Windows or Microsoft, uh, and these eventual fixes keep coming. Uh, and in, in this particular case, we can understand that this fix is sort of a rollback of the complications that have affected the entire ecosystem. And in order for us to understand what the fix is, I mean, these could be complicated codes. It could be codes that are written in some sort of an understanding whether the fix is going to fit immediately or not is something that we don't understand right now. Mm. But yes, when they say a fix has been released, it is basically a piece of code that is being distributed across the globe. And this basically will try to fix the system and bring, it, bring back normalcy as we can understand. Okay.
So I'm going to really get to uh, Ayush Alawadi, who is our business today, tech today editor, to give us a little breakdown on what this really means. Ayush, it's unbelievable to see a complete meltdown of the systems across the globe. How did this one technical issue bring the entire world to a standstill here? Absolutely, Nabila. You know, we're talking about a fix, but the real question mark here is what was the problem? Who is to blame? Everyone has been strapping this, and I must say this uh, as well. I must uh, concede that we thought this was a Windows problem. It's only a Windows problem because this cybersecurity firm, CrowdStrike, based in Austin, Texas, ended up launching an update early, in the early hours of this of Friday morning, which was meant for Windows. If they'd done this for the other platforms, maybe this could have gone wrong there as well. But it went wrong on Windows because this update, this patch was launched for Windows. Now, CrowdStrike, the company, has actually put out a statement where they've said that this is only happening on Windows and not happening with Mac or Linux, like I was saying. And they've reiterated that this is not a security incident or a cyber attack. This is just a system failure. But just being a system failure, Nabila, is absolutely baffling because these are things which are usually checked. There's a whole, a whole, you know, white hat, uh, a bunch of system mechanisms which are put in place to ensure that nothing goes wrong. This was rolled out, and and even though it was rolled out, we're realizing that this has impacted banks, like you said, aviation sector, hospitality, even yeah. emergency services went and broadcast networks. The fact being that if any of them were using CrowdStrike's Falcon. Uh, security uh, update, that is where the problem was. Now, the fix was simple. It was there available on CrowdStrike's support page early on in the day as well. All you had to do was boot your Windows, put it in safe mode, then remove the file that was problematic, and then obviously, you know, ensure that it's replaced and booted normally. Now, where does the issue, we can discuss this through the course of your show, where does the issue then pan out and how does it unfold? Is it then a problem with the IT, uh, the IT teams in these companies? Or did Microsoft have anything to do with it? Because Microsoft you know, I, that was my question. Who is liable here? Who who takes responsibility for this catastrophic failure? You know, and that is something that we really must get to because if you go by Microsoft statement, they essentially have also distanced themselves from this, saying this is we are aware that there is a system with a third party software, saying that this is Falcon and CrowdStrike's problem. But then the people who are being impacted are the end users. So if we look at different nodes in this, this is more of a legal team problem than an IT problem at this point, because the IT fix was out publicly. The legal teams would all be trying to understand what was that term in the agreement? Because think about it, CrowdStrike is coming up with uh, security solutions in simpler terms, antivirus softwares, end-to-end -end solutions, making sure that nothing attacks your systems. Mm. They are engaging with corporations like the airlines that were impacted, the queues that you were showing earlier on the show and hospitals, emergency services, those yep. people have end, those organizations have end users who are actually being impacted by this. This is, this is almost, and, and, you and, know, and uh, finally, Ayush, whatever said, we're looking at the entire world and its government systems relying on yes. uh, just three major players here. You have Microsoft, Amazon, and Google providing these systems, uh, all your eggs in one basket. This is the result we see. What, what's the alternative? Absolutely. Nabila, you know, usually big tech companies, whenever they are coming up with a new product, you're right. Amazon with Amazon Web Services, Microsoft with Microsoft Azure, and Google with Google Cloud. These are the three big services. And I'll tell you what their market share is like. AWS, Amazon leads the pack with 31%, followed by, I think, 25% with Microsoft Azure, and then 11% with Google Cloud. These are the numbers we have here on Tech Today. Now, if you look at the amount that Microsoft has, one is their cloud platform, but you need to understand that it was not just enterprises using this, even users who just use Windows, you and I yeah. using it in office, could have been impacted. Gmail was well. impacted, we, yes. So, you know, the, 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 the impact is far reaching. So the real question is, could Microsoft have averted this? Also, I just want to make one thing very clear. You know, we'll be, this is the developing story and we are getting all the latest and, and top updates here on the India Today Network. But this company, CrowdStrike, is no stranger to controversy. This is the same... Uh, you know, the U.S. elections and all the news that's coming in from the U.S. that's ongoing. This is the same company that Donald Trump spoke about in his conversations with Ukraine. When 2016, meddling with U.S. elections by foreign actors was brought up, CrowdStrike mm. was one of the particular firms that were named there. So there's a lot of stuff to figure out about mm. CrowdStrike. But at this point, they have said that they are fixing this 
and All the right. patch is out there. Let's Microsoft just hope it, it's, it's soon enough because it's also crippled our Indian uh, aviation system. The airlines here are struggling to cope right now with manual uh, check-ins, looking at the sheer volumes of passengers here domestically. But thank you very much, Ayush, for breaking that down for us, uh, Cyrus, John, and Lovina, uh, for that context. Now, Australia is suffering and struggling. Airports there reeling under the same impact of this global outage. We heard voices coming in from there. Let's hear it. Our flights have been cancelled, so now we're trying to find accommodation in Sydney, which is not easy. Our daughters are trying to do that online. And um, then we'll have to try and get a flight home somehow, somewhere, sometime. Don't know. It was very chaotic. Um, so whoever arrived here, they had no idea what's going on. I mean, this is the first time like, I experienced something like this. Um, um, so I, was, I, I saw everyone checking with staff member, like, what's going on, um, what's the next next move it was so busy we didn't know what 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 was happening and we understood that there was a problem with the system so we have been waiting until they told us that the flight was cancelled so now we are trying to book another ticket for tonight but they're six hundred dollars so <laughs> i give up all right. So we've, we've heard voices. Of course, this has really impacted multiple sectors. We're going to take you through a quick uh, look at the takeaways from this global outage that Microsoft uh, Cloud System has had. Uh, we see that domestic airlines and operations across the globe has been affected. Over 20 flights have been cancelled at the Chennai airport. In India alone, we're looking at Chennai airport that's cancelled 20 flights at the moment. Uh, we expected this situation not to worsen, but unfortunately, we also know that there nearly 35 flights have been cancelled, even from Hyderabad Airport, and 25 flights that's currently cancelled from the Kolkata Airport, three flights Trivandrum Airport that has been cancelled. Microsoft outage that's hit domestic flight operations at this point and we see multiple flight cancellations being reported. I'm going to read that out for you yet again. And of course, uh, it's, it's really a difficult situation for the airlines to cope and more importantly, passengers uh, and their schedules have gone completely haywire. Microsoft outage that's hit domestic operations in India includes over 20 flights cancelled at the Chennai airport. The latest coming in, Hyderabad airport has cancelled nearly 35 flights today. And we also see nearly 25 flights that have been cancelled at the Kolkata airport. Three flights that's been cancelled from Tiruvananthapuram airport. That's Kerala, uh, Telangana, uh, Tamil Nadu and Kolkata, West Bengal that have really acted on this outage. Uh, so much so that not able to handle the situation might as well cancel it because it's very confusing for passengers who, are not, who, have, who have not been able to check in through online have now tried to help them uh, to do it manually but that's been difficult because of the sheer volumes that are flocking into these domestic airports and with no choice left it appears these airlines have decided to cancel flights altogether in Kolkata itself we know that nearly 25 flights have been cancelled for the moment Suryagni Roy is joining us live Suryagni 25 flights have been cancelled in Kolkata. What's the reason? Any word uh, that's come in from the airlines there? The, the passengers who arrived to catch their flight, uh, what's their fate? Suryagni. All right, I'm going to try and pass Suryagni in the meanwhile, but uh, have a close look here. If you are someone taking your flight today or tomorrow, then please do check in on your flight details, uh, updated details. Hopefully their websites are working and they're able to update on their flight schedules. At this point, we see that nearly 20 flights in Chennai has been cancelled. Nearly 35 flights at the Hyderabad airport has been cancelled. 25 flights cancelled in Kolkata. Uh, well, this, the situation could get worse. Trust India Today to bring you every update right here.